after, um, yeah, afternoon. It is two o'clock. Two o'clock. Finally, morning, afternoon. Hopefully, everybody had a good day yesterday, and had a good, has had a good day so far today. I don't even. What is today? I don't know what today is. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. Um, sleep. So, so. Um, body overall is okay. Still dealing with this. It's eased off some. But it's still right up in here. Just on each side. And it's got my eyes feeling rubber bands again. Off. Spinny, I guess you'd say. The sound waves are finally gone. Praise God. Cause I couldn't handle that. That finally went away last night. I woke up. I don't know what time it went away. I just know I didn't wake up with it this morning. But I did wake up to the still freaky head. But more pressure up in here. And I've got this tension or pressure or sinus headache. But I made it to the front porch. That's a plus. It's minus the lying brightness right here because I've got storms coming up from the valley so I got outside for a few minutes sat out here just somewhat get some fresh air because I'm not really you guys know this if you follow my journey I'm not really supposed to be out here especially by pine trees and walnuts and oak and all of it so I'm really not supposed to be out here on a breezy day and it is a slight breeze, but I just wanted to <laughs> be normal human. Whew. Sorry, just went to spinning real quick. But the sound waves and all that stuff stopped sometime when I fell asleep. I mean, I got sleep. I can't say it was good sleep. But I could say that since the Turkum... Turkum, Lord, Termic or Kirkum, whichever you call it, it's the same thing. Um, really has been helping with the bone issues. If I didn't, I wish I would have really investigate, investigated, yeah, um, checked in on that more. Oh, this brightness is killing my, um, checked into that, read up on that more. Otherwise, I would have took that a long time ago instead of that bone marrow medicine, not bone marrow medicine, my arthritis medicine they give you for fibromyalgia or all these other forms of arthritis. Um, I would have started taking that a long time ago. Um, I have not still, I have not gotten in my sauna since Saturday because I just feel feverish. I gotta turn this because I gotta get that out of my view. I do feel feverish still, and I don't want to um, mix fe feeling feverish and getting into the sauna at the same time. I, I don't know if I'll crawl in it at all today. I really can't <clears throat> promise that. I'm not. It's not even in my list of to do. I did not, I have not done any of my charcoal since last week, but I think I need to put it back in to my supplement regimen, but no, I mean my body all overall doesn't hurt, but I do feel like again like I'm hooked up to IVs and they're draining all the energy and all my blood out I feel very weak and just weak and this head battle going on just doesn't help matters but so I'm just taking it easy today I'm gonna see how I feel later this afternoon if I'm gonna crawl into the sauna or not I just don't want to get in it with this feeling of feverish and this wonky head and it makes me feel worse which I don't want that oh. it 
it's like talking wears me out right now. I don't know. I mean, I'm hoping, you know, since it went from all over my head to just right up in here, that it disappears by tonight or tomorrow. I'd, I'd really like to have my head and my body work at the same time, either good together or bad together. Not, here's your good body, but we'll give you a screwed up head or we'll give you a good head and a screwed up body. I'd like to at least one time have it all together. All together. But, um, I'm trying to think. It's the same, right now, like I said, I don't know if I'll post every day due to what I'm dealing with right now because it's the same thing, different day. I need to get into my sauna. I know I do, but if I could cool off. Whoo! Sorry. Bumblebee. Oh. Whoo! A tree didn't land on me. Oh, that was not something I didn't want to deal with. <laughs> um, there's just so much going on and so much needing to be done. And I just... I just don't have the energy. Or I do, but I don't have the... No, no. My mind, my head function is not letting me do what I know what needs to get done. And I'm just trying to get better so I can do the things I need to get done. That's how I'll put that. But, um, I'm just, I don't really know if I'm even going to post this knowing it's the same thing, different day. Oh, I just feel off really really off up here and like I said it could be the full spectrum because I mean I've been doing the CBD and I've been doing the THC well the CBD and THC full spectrum and I know it could be it it could be the Japanese knotweed it could be the Alka-Seltzer gold it could be the Termic Kirkram I think that's all that I've put new in my regimen. There's something else I've put new. It could be the um, Korean ginseng. Because I went from the normal ginseng to the Korean. Or, yeah, it's the panics ginseng. Korean ginseng. Because I've changed up from normal basic to the Korean Jap um, uh, uh, ginseng. Which I started that this past weekend, or end of last week. So it could be any of the combinations of any of that. So I don't know. There's really nothing to update about except my body's still fine, but I'm drained. My head went from sound waves to just here and rubber band pressure up in here. I've not done any of my THC, just the straight. Harley Quinn or um, what's the other one there's two other ones I have that's made for fatigue and energy that's the Harley Quinn the blue dreams is made for the pain and then I've got another version I'm not done any of that this week so I've only done the full spectrum of the liquid drops which is CBD and THC full spectrum, but I've not even done that today. I didn't even do that yesterday. So me not doing any of the CBD THC full spectrum or any of that combo since last this past Saturday may be a reason why I, I'm not why I'm fatigued because I'm not doing the the strain for the fatigue and and also to give me energy. Maybe because I'm not doing them to give me what I to what they're supposed to be for. I'm supposed to do it daily, <laughs> two mill two vials a day, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and I'm not. I haven't done them since Saturday, so I don't know. It's just something I don't want to do it every. I don't want to do the D CBD and THC full spectrum every day. I really don't. 
But ever since I stopped Saturday, I didn't feel good Saturday as it was. And I don't even think I did it Saturday. I don't even think I took any of it. I don't really remember if I did. I know I did Friday. My, the What I had here before my shipment come in of what I had ordered. But I think that's maybe a... And I may be counter-reacting where I took it and it was working. What I had here before my new shipment kind of come in. And now that I haven't done it, I think, I'm pretty sure since Friday, it's making me, now I'm going back into the drained. Because one of the strains is for the, to help with the brain fog and the neurological issues. One to help with the fatigue and give you energy. One to help with the pain and the neuropathy so I have all these different strain versions of CBD THC full spectrums, but they're for different. Each strain is different for each characteristic that you have to have for what you need it for. And I needed the fatigue and the energy one to give me energy and help with the fatigue. I've not done it since Friday. I need the one for the wonky head, but I've not done it since Friday. I need the one for, I've just not done any of them, so I think that's why I went from okay, which I wasn't okay last week either. My my body was just off, so I don't know. I don't know. I, I just, and it's a, it's a waning moon, waning moon, waxing moon, Friday the 13th, new moon, so I may be hurt hurt scene or die off because of that which I usually either have a hurt scene or die off the week of the new moon or I'll skip the new moon altogether and just have hail the week of the full moon and it's like okay I had this on the 23rd now I may be doing it again on the new moon so I don't know what's going on I don't know but I at least made it to my front porch I'm not going to stay out here much longer. I'm too drained. I'm too exhausted. And I've done nothing to be exhausted. Waking up is exhausting. Moving is exhausting. Not painful right now because the medicine, my new medicines that came in are working for the pain. Oh, the, the arthritis and the bone issues. But it's like... When I do get up, my eyes. Mm. But when I do get up, it's like I'm from this down in thick Georgia clay mud and having to walk through it. That's how it feels. <laughs> so it's horrendous to just get from here to the bathroom or from here to the front door or from here to the mailbox. It's just... It, it feels like it's it, what would take 30 seconds to get here to my front door or to the mailbox. feels like it's taking me hours to get there. It's just so draining. I don't know. I don't know. I just got so much to do. It's not that there's so much going on that's stressing me out because that's... There's really nothing, to, I'm, uh, there's nothing to be stressed out over. I mean, I've got everything I need and asked for and all that good stuff. It's just, I don't know. Some days you just wake up and like, it all goes, you've got so much to do and you haven't done it in weeks and you need to get it done. And you just look at it and stare at it and go, no, not today, not today. And I just cannot, this makes the second week, I just cannot get out of the walking through thick Georgia clay mud <clears throat> and exhaustion in the, this going on. <laughs> so I don't know, it's just exhausting. It's exhausting just to breathe. <laughs> And, and then I go in waves of headaches. The headaches turn into migraines. And no matter how much I take, whether it be any form of headache medicine, migraine medicine, or THC, CBD, whatever, it won't get it away or ease it off. And then sometimes it'll ease it, 
but it'll come back with a vengeance. So uh, it's just my head, if I had to choose, is my main issue. I'll deal with the fatigue. I just, I'm not doing any of my strains right now to help with the fatigue and to give me energy because if I get the fatigue dealt with and it gives me energy, I'm going to want to move and do and do and do. And this up here is not going to play well. So I can't, <laughs> I need to get this dealt with before I can give myself the energy and fatigue boost I need because I'll, that's where I'll do stupid and then this will flare worse than it already is. But same thing, different day. I don't know. It's just, it's exhausting. It's really exhausting, so. But this is my day. It's hot out here. <laughs> it is hot. But no, I don't know if I'll get in my sauna. Like I said, I feel feverish today again. And until I feel not feel feverish, I'm not getting in it. And I want to do running the low-grade fever and get in there and sweat. And then something, excuse me, something stupid happens or bad happens. So until I feel I'm not low-grade fever in it. I'm not even going to touch that sauna right now. <laughs> and I know I need to get in it. I know I need to get in it. So, I don't know. And the Tylenol or Motrin and Fever Reducer, I, all that stuff is not helping. The Eucalyptus isn't helping. The Frankincense isn't helping. The Meclizine really, and I'm on 50 milligrams pills. And they are not helping. So, I don't know. So I don't know. But other than that, I love you guys. And I hopefully you have a fabulous day. Sunshine. Less pain. More energy. Less fatigue. Than you did the day before the night of. But this is Michelle signing off. And till tomorrow. I'm going to get back in the house. Love you guys. And God bless.